Five seconds to go. Start. I deem it a privilege and an honor to meet you, the students and teachers of the Tribhuvan University and to spend a few happy moments in your midst. For one who like me has been a teacher all his life, it is always a stimulating and encouraging experience to meet young students and scholars engaged in the pursuit of knowledge and discovery. This is all the more so on this occasion because of the strong ties of common traditions and shared values which have united Nepal and India throughout the centuries. A university is a powerful instrument not only for all sided development of one's nation, but for the progress of mankind as a whole. A university, said Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, stands for humanism, for tolerance, for reason, for the adventure of ideas and for the search of truth. It stands for the onward march of the human race towards even higher objectives. If the universities discharge their duties adequately, then it is well for the nation and the people. This university named after the great father of the Nepalese nation is developing in a manner worthy of all the universalism, modernism and spirit of freedom and equality that he stood for. It has made a valuable contribution to the development of modern Nepal and I have no doubt that it will make an even more significant contribution to the social, cultural and economic development of your country in the days ahead and help it to assume its rightful place in the committee of nations. I am extremely happy that we in India have fully associated ourselves to the best of our ability in the building up of this great university from its very inception. We feel proud of this collaboration which has been of considerable benefit to ourselves. I feel particularly happy to be associated with the construction on this beautiful campus of a new building which has been named after Mahatma Gandhi whose birth sanitary year is now being celebrated in India and in several other countries of the world. Among other things, this building will provide a hole for discussion and discourses on religious and cultural subjects with special reference to the contribution made by Gandhiji in these fields. The people of India and Nepal as well as of other countries feel very close to Gandhiji 
for his principal teachings which have an eternal value the developing countries of asia including nepal and india are now facing tremendous challenges in the field of development they have to modernize their traditional social systems maintaining what is good in the old and imbibing what is good in the new and harmonizing continuity with change they have to develop agriculture and industry very rapidly and to secure quick economic growth which will ensure at least a minimum living standard to every citizen they have also to strive to reduce the wide gap between their level of development and that of the industrially advanced countries these challenges facing the asian countries are really challenges for you the rising generation and it is on your vision wisdom competence and dedicated hard work that their solutions will largely depend in this great national task the major effort will have to come from the people themselves but their efforts could be considerably strengthened in two ways the first is assistance from developed countries who owe a duty to themselves as well as to the less privileged nations of the world to reduce the widening gap in the standards of living in the advanced and backward countries and the second is the equally important collaboration between the developing nations themselves who have so much to give as well as to receive in the sharing of experiences and implementing cooperative projects of mutual benefit every nation and every generation has to fight a new its own battles for freedom freedom from hunger and want disease and ignorance from foreign domination economic and political the people of my generation in india had to devote their energies mainly to win the battle for political freedom but now the people of your generation both in nepal and in india have to fight other and more difficult battles the battles for freedom from ignorance from hunger from degrading poverty and from all such other things that impede the full development of the human personality i am very happy to find that the people of nepal have accepted this challenge and that they also consider it an opportunity which should be met with strength dignity discipline and fortitude i congratulate you on launching yourself upon this noble task and wish you very success in your program of building up a modern nepal which still accept the best 
that the new world has to offer while still preserving all that is precious noble and glorious in the rich heritage of this land now it shall be the contest endeavor of the people and the government of my country to be of all such assistance to you as we are capable of stop